Hello everyone, I'm about to make a GB CL3000, the Gold Beard Coin Locator 3000. You need a golf ball and a metal rod. I picked this up from Toy World. I'm here in Canberra and it is a brass rod. It's a good focus. It's 532 it's an inch, 3.97 mil, mil thick. It's one foot long. 12 inches from the US and we're going to make a coin locator GBCL3000 with these two items for use with metal detecting. Stay tuned. Okay, I've marked a dimple on the golf ball and the golf ball is 42.5 or 7 millimeters wide. I'm going to drill a hole at about uh, 25 mil into it so that when the tip of the brass rod goes in it's its tip is just past halfway which will make it easier for when pushing on the rod in the ground. Now what I've done is I've marked a mark spot on the drill. See the little black mark there which is a 25 mil so when I drill it I'll know where it is. Now for the guys at home that have a vice that's great. I don't have a vice. I've got to do it the old fashioned um, handyman way. We'll drill it and we'll show you what the end result Okay, I've just finished drilling the uh, hole in the golf ball. The size of the hole matches the brass rod, which is 532 of an inch. There it is there, where it is. So that's the size there. 532, so that matches. Just see how it goes. Slot it in. And that's the top of our... GBCL3000. Now, do the rest of it. Okay, I've drilled about an inch into the golf ball, and the uh, there's one one inch into the golf ball of the brass bar, yeah. and I'm going to cut about two inches off the bottom. Using a pair of Bunnings bolt cutters, I've just cut the end uh, two inches off the bottom of the brass rod, and it's left a nice little point. Well, I'm just going to file that down, and then we're going to glue the shaft into the base with our light. I've just got it sitting in there right now but I'll glue it in a minute. So yeah. Okay I've now finished the uh, Good Beard Coin Locator 3000. It's nine inch long shaft with one inch with an additional one inch of shaft in the golf ball. The tip's got a little bit of a point in it and I've just aerodyed the shaft into the golf ball. I used a matchstick Oh, two matchsticks to help push the aerodite down and then I forced the shaft down and obviously there was a, a air pressure so I just moved it around until the air came out and escaped out. I've let it uh, set it up like that when it was fresh and it's, the aerodite has run down and it's just hardening there. So that is my GB CL3000.